Greetings. Stone and wood bettered the fist. Bronze made stone and wood obsolete as a weapon. Iron left bronze in statues and coins. Steel made iron panic and hide its face from combat. Gunpowder laughed at steel. The nuclear bomb walked all over the face of gunpowder. Now, technology has reduced the rest to primitive status. In the near future, technology can and probably will render the nuclear bomb akin to a fist. One thing has been common throughout all these changes, and that is that change occurred, and one had the choice to either be left behind and conquered by it, or to embrace it with the hopes of wielding it. Let us both fear technology because it is dangerous, yet embrace it with the hopes of wielding it for whatever good we can. One such good application of technology is in education. Although there is wisdom in not losing those human skills we acquire better without it, it would be foolish to disregard it entirely. As foolish as a warrior slamming his bare fist into a wooden shield, or a soldier trying to stop a speeding bullet with a steel sword or his toe. Let us look at three examples of a plethora of technological tools already available. The final one presented will be well representative of the future we are entering into. Already, technology replaces technology at a mind-boggling rate. The first tool we shall look at briefly is for the purpose of assistive technology. This area alone has a multitude of options. This is but one. Speakline can assist in managing engagement for the visually impaired or those with reading disabilities. One thing I like about this tool is its simplicity and focus. It is text-to-speech software that has a computer-generated voice. Speak out whatever is typed or pasted in the interface. Although this is a good tool for those with reading or visual disabilities, both in the classroom, using an earpiece, or offline, it is used for those without said disability as well. I personally use it for the sake of multitasking. One can listen rather than read while they clean, cook, or stare at the wall blankly in a state of trance or confusion. The next tool we shall indulge is for the purpose of online teaching, but could potentially be used offline through the use of a projector. It can be used to manage engagement and assess academic progress. Both teachers and students can create animated characters that will speak whatever they have recorded or typed. This can make for an exciting way to present topics to highlight important points or for students to complete assignments for the purpose of assessment in a fun and creative way. The final tool is one that I have a keen interest in due to it entailing a great portion of what I envision would be necessary for the field version of the mythological creature escape room adventure game I designed. It assists in managing student engagement and academic progress and can monitor student learning. There are many ready-made courses on a variety of subjects available for download and installation, such as history, art, physics, geography, etc. Rather than reading or listening to lame descriptions that imagination will fail to justify, students can be entirely immersed in antiquity. Using both virtual and augmented reality with the ability for teachers to create their own videos and elements, my game could have a completely VR version, or implement augmented reality as per my game design for the field. The only reason this could not be used for the field version now is due to the wired nature of VR and AR headsets. However, it is predicted that within five years, wireless headsets for this purpose will become available and within a decade have entirely replaced wired versions. I leave you with this thought. It took thousands of years from the stone to the atom bomb, but only a decade for future technology to completely erase current technology from use. If AI robots are capable of inventing, we can perhaps expect technology to be replaced on a daily basis, if not minute to minute, or nanosecond to nanosecond. Such a future as may be around the corner is impossible to predict and improbable to imagine. Let us hope that enough students have been sufficiently influenced to use technology wisely, for there is nothing more dangerous than intelligence lacking wisdom or morals. Artificial intelligence will always lack both, for they are both things that cannot be programmed into a computer, 
only instilled in a being.